1 Corinthians chapter 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understanding all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth itself not. It not it is not puffed up doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, and I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I am. No. And now abideth faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Good evening, it's your boy, Juice, back at it again, you already know what's up gang, it's been a fat minute, been a few couple months, honestly, didn't mean it to be like that, but it is what it is, that's how life go, you know, been doing things, it's summer, you know, things get kind of busy, I have been writing, which I'm about to get into. I've been plotting out videos, been plotting my goals, all that fun stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, it's time to get back into the grind to to my YouTube stardom, alright? I'm going to be a famous YouTuber one day. Hell yeah, brother. Um, but not for real, I have been working, you know, I moved, I think I said that in the last video. Been working hella, alright? I uh, helped build this deck I'm sitting on right now. It's a pretty big deck. I might throw some, throw some, some images, some videos showing you what's up with that. It's pretty fun. Should have made a video on that, but hey, bro, it's a family thing. I don't really want to get all my family up in here, even though they graciously let me use this area, which I appreciate. Shout out the fam, which is actually what I'm going to be speaking on today. All right, got this set up. Hopefully, it doesn't. Hopefully it's not too horrible audio. I know that's like the most important thing. Um, hopefully it sounds good. Uh, shout out my little sister for this sock, for the windscreen. You know I haven't uh, I haven't been smoking at all really lately, uh, so I, I I ran out of tobacco a while ago, but. So, so I'm not smoking on anything special. It's just a black and mild uh, jazz wood tip, obviously. You know, I can't be hit, hitting that plastic, microplastic bullshit, you know. Uh, funny thing about this, bro. A little side story here before we start. I used to, uh... I used to... When I lived in a car with my homie, we'd wake up in the morning. And we wouldn't have shit. And... We'd go to the quick trip, whatever was closest, and we would dig around the car for like a couple pennies, for a couple quarters, 
to get black and mild so we weren't so hungry. Uh, good memories, bro. Good times. Solid times, brother. But, uh, hey, that's a, that's a story for another day, which I will, you know, talk on at some point. I'm going to light this up one more time, take a couple more puffs, and hop up into it, baby. Another funny thing is that Bible right there. I used to read about read out of that when I was a little kid too. Good old times, core core memories, unlocked. I ain't gonna try and promise any time frames for these videos, but I am gonna get back up into the role of it for all my 12 subscribers. I know you've been waiting on the edge of your seats for these sick nasty pods. These these uh these casts. These, uh, I'm gonna call them a man cast. The, uh, smoke signals, alright? I think I'm gonna call them the Sunday smoke signals. So that the abbreviation is an SS. Don't wanna get, uh, any more compared to the old SS than I'm sure these things are already going to be compared to, alright? But, uh, so the SSS, the triple S, that's. Honestly, the that's a that's, that's a good name because of how good they are. Triple S, okay, the Triple S cast. All right, it's gonna be sick. All right. Oh no, brother! Oh no, brother! Can't start no forest fires. Only you can prevent forest fires. All right, baby. So today's subject, I already touched on, this might be a little long, but family, brother, alright, this is a tough subject for me, personally, alright, it's tough to know where to start, alright, it's a, it's a broad subject, it's tough to know what to cover, you know, include, and what not to, because everyone's situations are different, and I tried to be cognizant of that in the writing of this. Uh, so that could relate to people on a broad topic such as this. And importantly, not hurt those that I dearly love and hold close, right? Because it's a touchy subject. But that's how I know it's what I should talk about, right? Hard things. If it's hard, it's probably the proper, it's probably the right way to go, okay? It's more important now than it ever has been to focus on your family, not just because most are already broken on top of being attacked, but because of the digital age that we live in, baby, okay? We use these things that connect our race more than ever, human race, okay? We're all part of the human race, baby. More than ever, it's, it's, it connects us more than ever, but it also divides us like never before, resulting in most people Having few, if anyone, to converse, connect, and truly rely on in a time where each day seemingly brings us closer to a scenario where your survivability is determined by those around you and the synchronicity that y'all got together. I, I know what y'all know I'm talking I know you know what I'm talking about, alright? Alright? I ain't gonna go too deep on them activities that be provoking this kind of thought. But I think, I think everyone can agree to know what, I'm the fu what, what the fuck I'm talking about, alright? Honestly, uh, I've, been on, I've only come to this conclusion that I'm talking about here in the past couple years, alright? And I'm still working on it, okay? Personally, I know, I know this, 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 the, what I got going on here right now where I'm at, the place I'm in. Looks sick as sick as fuck, bro. It's it's honestly is. It's a great place, my family home here. Uh, but I do personally come from a broken home. I'm a bastard child, baby. I'm a lone dog. I'm the black sheep of the fam, baby. Okay. And being young, I didn't think it affected me that much personally. But as I grew older, I also grew a hatred 
towards my parents and my family in general not 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 anyone in particularly but the thought of family in my family okay switching from two extremely different households i didn't feel like i belonged in either one which caused me to latch on to outside sources pretty much any outside source that made me feel like i belonged all right inevitably when those sources failed i was crushed absolutely depleted my young soul was scorched okay anytime any kind of hardship or whatever one of the homies became a op i stabbed me in the back all right which happened a couple times and as I, as my soul was crushed, uh, my hatred turned not only to my family, but towards the world, and towards the big G O double D. I no D, no, actually it's not double D. God, the Father, right? That hatred welled up. It grew. It led me to ingesting copious amounts of drugs. I I was lit, bro. I was zooted and booted. As often as I could, you know how I just said we'd wake up and uh, get them, get them black and mild. That was the first thought, all right? When we woke up, it wasn't, you know, maybe we should scrounge some change to get some food. It was let's go get some nicotine, bro. Let's go get a black, and then let's go try and find some blow, all right? Maybe we would say, oh yeah, maybe we can, maybe we can flip a couple pebbles, you know, into something, and maybe we can get some food or some shit. But let's keep it a buck, brother. I was fiending. All right, let's get cracked up, brother. All right, and it wasn't really just any. It wasn't just blows. You know, pretty much anything. Obviously, you know, if I could get some weed, if I could get some uh, some K, uh, shrooms, acid, bro, everything. Bro, I was off it all. All right, Molly, bro, loved some fucking Molly. All right, so it led me to getting lit in a way that I knew could kill me. Most definitely, <laughs> drinking. While you're doing some K, can lead you to just stop breathing, brother. Yeah, did that a lot. So uh, I knew these things could kill me. And I uh, honestly didn't care if I did. Honestly, I hoped that they would. All right, definitely did. All right, uh, lashed out and rejected anyone who tried to help me. Uh, pretty much, you know, yeah. Because it's not like I was out here, didn't have anyone. I mean, maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe didn't have anyone, but I, anyone that tried to help, I uh, pretty much just, you know, told them to fuck off, right? Lashed out, rejected them, uh, to the point of trying to, hey, bro, hey, hey bro, this is, uh, this is hard for me to say. Don't know if I should say it even, but uh, led me so, so down deep that I genuinely tried to sell my soul to the devil, brother. And that's not even on some bullshit, dog. Like, that was a... Uh, I was, yeah, bro, I was on some fuck shit, straight up, just to spite God, because I hate him so much, right, uh, and I, and, you know, spiting the only one that really could help me, which is, uh, pretty fucked, I'm gonna make sure my recording is still going, dang, brother, got jabroned, brother, got jabroned, the whole page gone, heartfelt knowledge that i just dropped on y'all gone brother ah, struggles it's the first one back though it is what it is all right so all right i explain everything that i just explained previously to show my experience and in my experience, what not having a solid family structure can lead to more often than not. And by having one, what it can help you out of. Right? Because obviously, I'm not in that spot anymore. Right? I've progressed. And I'm pretty proud of myself. I, I'm not a crackhead anymore. Not that I was out here smoking crack, but not a fiend I and I, uh, I'm proud of that and you know, I've, I've built my life up to a, a point where I can say hey bro I can look back I'm like hey bro I'm out that shit I did good I'm doing good right and uh, I think my my mom can be proud of that too 
and that's that's the most important thing, right? Or more important, right? Uh, so that's why I explain this to show you what having one can do, help you out of, and what not having one, a family, can lead to. Through all of this, though, all my bullshit, my mom was always trying to help. Not by offering handouts or being there to catch me when I fell, but by her own self-reflection and walk with God. Gang. She knew when to answer my calls and when not to, as odd as that may have been. Can you understand that? Can you understand a fucking crackhead calling you? tripping sack in the middle of the night in the middle of the forest of Michigan or in the middle of you know some random city that you can't get to there's some crackhead just calling you and it's your son <laughs> that's tough she knew when to answer though and she went knew when not to and when she did she would listen she took accountability and gave tools rather than doing the work for me. In this way, we not only helped each other and developed a sol solid bond, but I also learned to become a secure and confident individual within myself, strengthened through the Lord. Gang, baby. You know, she, uh, she's still to this day working. You know, she's a great role model. I'm proud to say that. Shout out moms. Uh, we just were talking about the, the work that she's still doing. She's going through like this, uh, this like counseling group thing. It's not so much counseling. It's more so just kind of like, you know, group thing. It's nice. It's good for her. I'm happy. And, uh, you know, she drops little, little golden nuggets, little knowledge nugs, you know, on me here and there. And I appreciate that. But she's not out here like, oh, you got to do this, this, and this. And you got to do this. Oh, I can see what, you know, she's not doing the work for me. She's not telling me what to do. She's just, you know, talking about what she's doing and how that's helping her. And, you know, maybe I can apply that to my own self. I appreciate that. I'm blessed. All right? And that's helped me uh, connect with her and uh, develop a bond better than most parents have with their children, probably, in, the, in, in that way, by doing that and acting like that. This helped me to, this helped lead me to help my father. Right, in the same way. Much he's a different case, he's more stubborn. I'm you know, it is what it is. We now say love you though, uh, at the end of a call or something. So hey, that's big. Steps. So uh, little baby steps. And uh, I've reached out to my family that I haven't talked to in years and reconnected with them and helped them in the same way. Or trying to, you know. Just giving them little nugs, letting them know what I'm doing. But this is where it's tough to relate, right? This is what I'm talking about. Because I am blessed. I acknowledge that. With the fact that my mom kept an outstretched hand. And you might not have any family. Or maybe your mom is a crack whore, brother. Maybe your dad's in jail. Okay? If they are alive, I still encourage you to reach out and connect with them. Don't let them use you or get in the way of fixing yourself working on yourself, you know, because I know that's a hard line, right, I know that's difficult, uh, parents asking you for money, asking you to do things, not helping themselves, they, they ask you for help, they don't help themselves, it's a waste of your time, right, they use you, uh, it's, it's hard to say no, but that's something that you have to be able to do, as hard as, it, as I know, I know, it's hard, I got, because I've done it, I had to. But you should open the door so that they can see into what you're working on. You know? Open the window. Open the blinds. Let a motherfucker peek. You know what I'm saying? And so you can give them the tools for themselves by showing them, by just using the tools on yourself, you know? It's a fine line. They need to go out and get them. They can see you working on them. I see that guy got a nice saw. Hey, bro, I need to go get a saw like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a fine line to walk, and I know you may not want to, brother. It may hurt. And it may hurt a lot. Maybe they scummed you. Maybe they beat you. Hey, dog. Maybe they did some crazy shit. You know, maybe they molested you. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's hard to relate. 
because I know that happens. Maybe you feel you don't. They maybe you feel that they don't deserve you, and maybe they don't, dog. I don't know. That's your decision. But for me, at the end of the day, I think I owe it to myself, and I think I owe it to my creator, brother. Big ad, big ad, right? Big L, here. Family are the only people that you'll actually always like. You actually hundred percent know, right? You know where they're from. You know what balls they got squirted out of. You know what I'm saying? You know what they do, how they act. It's just the easiest person that you'll ever know, that you'll truly know, right? Even if you feel like you're distant, and if you, you bro, you can. I don't know. It's that again, it's opinion piece, I guess. But they're the only people that you'll really actually ever know. Because I've tried to know people. And, yeah, it doesn't, uh, you can't. But, hey. Uh, they're some of the most valuable assets God gave you. If you treat them right. In my experience. So I'd fight through hell to have them. I'd kill for them. Hey, put it on, put it on the record. Put it on court record, dog. I kill for my people, brother. I would, uh, if someone touched my sister, my little brother, my mama, or my dad, I'm a body that motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Probably not the right choice, but hey. Now you might not have anyone. All right. You might be an orphan. And I will never understand that. Alright. Same for all the uh, all the people I kind of just spoke on or I just related with. I think you can agree. You never understand, bro. That's tough. I, it's, uh, I, I, can't, I, I genuinely cannot explain. I cannot express how much I will never understand that. Okay. I want to say that I'm sorry. But I know that doesn't mean anything because I'm a random dude on the internet that no one's probably well listening to. But hey, I want I want to bring you into my own family personally. But I know that's not what you need. But hey, if you need a little, if you need a big bro, little bro, I don't care. If you need a gang, hey, bro, hit me up. You already know. Um, I don't know how much that's gonna help, seeing as. I don't even hang out with the friends that I do have, but hey, whatever, I got you if you need. It's not what you need though, nor will it help, I don't think. I want to give you a spot at my table, brother, but what you really need is to build your own damn table. I'm going to keep it a hundred stacks tall. You have it harder than pretty much anyone else. Other than probably other orphans, obviously. But that just means that you gotta become stronger than any of us, than I ever could. Alright? When you're starting... When you're starting lower, you're traveling farther. So if you were starting at a regular, at an equal equal distance, you'd be going harder than everyone else at that spot. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense. But you gotta become stronger... Than anyone else ever could. You have to make your own family, right? Starting with yourself. I know it sounds gay as fuck, but you gotta love yourself before anyone else can love you. Trusting those who you meet in the world to be your family will really only lead to heartbreak, because, brother, I tried. Alright? I really, bro, I was gonna get tattoos of my people on my chest, dog. I was really sapped up. I, like I said, I was trying to, I was trying to hold on to anything else I could that made me feel like I belong. All right, I really did. Personal, personal experience led me to realize that doesn't, that doesn't work. All right, you can't rely on other people to be the same as you and to hold the same values as you. It's tough, but it is. You can't even, even if you really do think that. Even bro, even if you think a man is your brother, bro, and you've been through it, dude, 
uh, dog, they'll leave your shit on the side of the fucking road if it comes to you or them. And I, I say that because it literally happened to me, okay? I know because I've tried. Become confident in yourself, but know that only true confidence comes from God. I know I'm, I'm beating the same book. I know I probably sound like a fucking Bible thumping ass, you know, Sir Trad Con fucking ugly ass little boy, brother. But hey, bro, that's facts. That's straight up. I'm just being a honey. I'm not about to. I'm not about to fucking toss y'all on some bullshit. I'm just speaking it a honey. Anyone else at the head of your table will only attract flies and rats. You'll always have a father in the Lord, and following him will lead you to those who you can learn to love and trust as one of your own, because they are already God's own. But even as I do say that, I, I falter because of my own experience in the church. And I do have my own views on church today, but I'm not going to go into it, because I think it's a valuable tool for finding communion and com- I think it's a valuable tool for finding a community, no matter what you think. And I don't want to turn anyone away from it before trying it. I grew up in the church, so I'm obviously going to have my own opinion on it. I think you probably do too. I think everyone's got an opinion on it. I do encourage you to go find a church and try and build a community and find the people but once again, people are people, and what I've already stated stands. So, just use, think about it. I'm gonna restart my recording again. I'm gonna switch to another recording so I don't fuck it up again. Now, coming back to the rest of you with a family, okay? No matter how broken, because once again, you already know. <clears throat> Like in the construction of any structure, you must first have a strong foundation. To have a strong family, you must be first strong in yourself, baby. Okay? It always comes down to you. Any situation. Start with yourself first. Because that's the only thing you can control. Before you can teach discipline, you must become disciplined yourself. In order for someone to see your strength, you must be... You must first, in fact, be strong and be able to lift that log, okay? Before someone can love you, hey, baby, you gotta love yourself, just like God does. Loves you, I mean. Talking only goes so far. I really hate talkers. I like doers, and most of the time, doers don't talk that much. You must first lead through example, alright? through failure and your own lessons you learn a lot more than reading dog personally you learn a lot more through your own failures and and uh and 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 struggles than you do by someone talking to you about it dude and and it's tough because you you're gonna have your struggles your lessons your your failures and you're gonna try and try and tell people but until they fucking fail themselves Nine times out of ten, it's going to be a waste of time. My experience. This is why I get so annoyed when people say that they're sorry for what little struggle I've had. And trust me, bro, people will be like, oh, I'm so sorry. My mom, my mom especially. I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. Appreciate that, but I don't. It's fine. I like it. Dude. I, I'm glad it happened. All right? Embrace your struggles, because a lot of people don't have them, and they're worse off for it. If I had no struggle, I would be weak and ignorant, like most of the people in the West today. Without hardships and struggles, there is no need for a strong community and strong family. The easier it is to survive, it is to truly thrive. So embrace the struggle. Look for hardships and be thankful for them. Appreciate the failures that you survived and learn from them. Failures are lessons. If you have none of them, go fucking find them. Especially while you're young. 
not like I did with hatred in your heart, okay? But with the appreciation of being able to experience life through learning, all right? If you can, if I, if, bro, if I can even get one little motherfucker to go out and and realize that they have the ability to fail and not the misfortune to fail, bro, my life, I'll die, bro, I'll die happy, all right? Don't get salty when, when, don't get sad, don't quit when things get hard, bro. Figure out a way to get through it. And, and write it down. Remember it. Put it in a book, dude. Write a fucking book. I right? About your struggles. Not, not to, not to publish or gain anything from, but so that you can, you can learn from, from them. You know? For you. Do it for you. Because if you do it for you, most of the time, someone, there's a lot, we're, we're, a lot, we're very similar. All right? We're humans. Everyone's a human. So someone can someone can use it. Now parents, alright. My aim has been towards my peers for the majority of this. Because I know I'm the last one you should listen to seeing as I have no children yet. Yet. Alright. I'm I'm about to start fucking bro. About to start squirting. Alright. I'm gonna have a jit army. I my my youngins is gonna be crazy, bro. Okay, but that's just talk. So that's my preface. Seeing as this is the case, I'd like you to I'd like to ask you to hear me as if I am my own parents, cause that's they are who taught me, okay, and I take a, I think I take more of a uh, look and thought than most people into my pants in the way that they do things, I don't know, but I do, I learn from them, I try to learn from them, even though if they don't realize that I am, alright, as I've stated multiple times already, it starts with you, that's something I learned from my family, that's something I learned from my mom, starts with you and my dad, and my stepdad, especially. Nothing else matters if you are an example to live by. If your foundation is hollow. With a solid foundation, you'll know the temporary is outweighed by the rest. In that knowledge, don't be hindered by the short-term love your child will have for you by being their friend. Cause hey, brother, I've had the I've had the parent that wants to be my friend. I've had the parent that lets me do coke off the fucking kitchen dining room table and smokes blunts with me. And I've had the parent that smacks my ass sometimes. And I know they regret it, and I know she, I know my mom feels bad about it. But hey, I don't. I'm glad she did. I wish she still would, sometimes, to my younger siblings, but everyone goes through their own growth, it's their children, and she can do what she's going to do, and I appreciate, I appreciate that she has changed and not just, you know, you know what I'm saying, I'm just letting you know, I've had both, and I see which one is better, but hey, you do you. I'm going to go into that real quick. I moved to my dad's because he was cool as fuck. At least that's what I thought. And let me do what I want to. And hey, bro, my, I'm not trying to shit on my dad. That's the hard part. He is cool as fuck. I love my dad. I think he's sick. And I hope he knows that. I love his, I love his ass to death. I, I appreciate it. But I moved to my dad's because I thought he was cool. And because he'll let me do whatever I want. But knowing what I do now, I realize that prevented me from being more accomplished than what I am today. I, I do appreciate, I would never take it back. I would never take it back. I would never change any decision that I made in my life. I know that's probably hard, that's probably dumb to say, but 
I wouldn't. But I do know the different route it took me on. Discipline is necessary. The cops aren't going to talk it out with your kid. If you can't, if you don't want to spank, alright, which, I mean, I have my own thoughts on that. If you don't want to spank your kid, your decision, you need to be even better yourself to make up for that. But you still need to find a way to draw a clean and clear line. I can't say how to do that for infants, personally. Children, young baby kids, alright, little baby dudes. But just know that uh, I have, I, I helped, I practically helped, I practically raised, you know, three, I have five siblings, but, uh, you know, the, th the, the three that are immediately younger than me, I had a very big part of, of helping them, helping raise them with my mom, because I was homeschooled, all right? They are smarter than what you think, than what everyone gives them credit for. That's what I've learned. I'm a get, I'm good as fuck with kids, okay? And I'm a, I'm a keep it, keep it a stack. What makes me good, what, and this is, you can, you can ask people, what, what makes me good with kids is I treat them like I would treat anyone else, all right? They're humans. They're whole. Ass, they have whole ass brains. They're just learning how to use them, but they still have whole ass brains. Okay. As they get older, which is on you to be the judge of, I would encourage labor and physical taxes, opposed to relying on pain. Okay. I, I know. I know. Spanking has its flaws, and I uh, I encourage you to to find other ways that will cause them distress all right let's say and not pain all right because you know that only goes so far inflict a toll of pull-ups push-ups running hard things that they can't escape until completed and can be done most importantly and can be done anywhere because you you know bro kids don't just disobey when you're at home all right Bro, if your kid starts acting up in the grocery store, guess what, bro? Push-ups, 50, right now, let's go. And guess what? More importantly, you're doing it with them, all right? This is my, this is my fucking brainchild of parenting, okay? This is, this is, the, bro, I'm, I'm gonna be a sick parent, dude. More, the most important thing is that you can do these things with them. These pull-ups, these push-ups, these runs. It's not just you inflicting pain and, and horrible things on them. But you're doing it with them, dude. Bro, maybe, maybe uh, if, they, if they do something horrible enough that brings shame on the fucking name, dude, of the family, maybe the whole family has to do it with them. What about that? That'd be a crazy thought. You do something bad... And now, because of your actions, you just made your little brothers and sisters do 50 pull-ups? What? And now they're all gasping for breath, struggling. Your dad is over there panting for his life because of your actions. Maybe you got through it just fine. But now you're looking at your little brother and little sister struggling. That's not hurting them. It's actually making them stronger. But you seen them struggle because of your thought, because of your actions? Hey, bro. That'd be tough on me. One thing I noticed being spanked is my parents always said that it hurt them more than me. Which they still do. And I, I know. I know it did. But I thought that shit was bullshit, dog. Okay? And at a certain point, you can't be spanked. Bro, at a certain point, I, I grabbed that. I grabbed the switch, dude. Bro, I, 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 I took hold of the stick, alright? I grasped the rod. I caught it as it was being flung towards my buttocks. And at a certain point, you as a child are letting your parents spank you. You're not being spanked by your parents. You're letting your parents spank you, alright? And that only goes so far. 
with you suffering and this is my thought process behind this what i've suggested with you suffering alongside them it's a direct personification of their actions as i just said affecting more than just themselves all right and it also teaches us like yeah you got a family name you're you're not just representing yourself out there you're representing your family you're representing god in turn all right if you call yourself a christian if you say that you believe in Jesus Christ and you believe in God and the Holy Spirit you you, you wear you got to wear that name that's a hot, that's that's something that a lot of people don't be doing when they say that they're Christians you you put that name on your back brother all right so that, that also teaches that I also and I'll hold on, on on that point as well bro back in the day back in the day them small towns the sh the, your parents knew the sheriff and they'd pull you over and but guess what oh I'm, I'm not gonna give you a ticket I'm gonna tell your dad I'm gonna tell your pops what you gonna do about that no no don't tell my bro people took that seriously back in the day which I think needs to come back cities are bad personally but hey I also encourage you to do more than that do more pull-ups, do more push-ups, put more weight on your back in the run. You have to struggle more because it's your decisions that are shaping them. Since your decision led to their creation in the first place. And the physicality of it never allows you to get soft. Stay hard. All this is not to negate love. All pain and no love will only lead to hate. No matter how much extra weight is on your back, they might just, they might just revel in watching you suffer. They might enjoy that shit. Because that could happen if you don't show that love. No matter the consequence. When my mom was single, she loved me hard. All right? To a fault. But guess what? Those memories last forever. And I can 100% say that those remembering those those times when it was just me and her is legit saved my life. All right? But with other circumstances when I felt that it was gone that love I did everything I could do to escape. I did everything I could do to escape to where it had gone. Right? I did everything I could. I, I worded that a little weirdly, but I did what I could to find that in other places, basically. Right? Even if it was false hope, and I did. I did know. I, I did find that in other places, and I was I, again. I've already said this, but I was thoroughly let down and crushed my little baby soul all right i know it's difficult to find the line as a parent between babying and loving or uh, you know because obviously you can baby a kid all right thinking that you're loving them and and yeah you're just babying right and there's love you know and maybe you think that you're showing love but you aren't and that's what a, a good uh, couple a good parenting couple helps with checking each other and shit right but I've seen how important and how drastic of an effect it can have on uh, your kid becoming a you know degenerate and uh, you know, being a great person, right? And there is a stark difference in personality and attitude between the six of us, right? Uh, me, Anna, and Caleb are my my you know the big the big oh, the big three, right? And then there's Elia, Julia, or Elia, Sophia, and Julia, and there's a there's a pretty stark difference in personalities. Um, I think that's it's it's a it's a lot of things, right? Or with the uh, with the internet and stuff, but there's a stark difference between you know the six of us that like middle line, and uh, you know there's slight slight different parenting, you know di different parenting, you know whatever. And we talk about this, you know, it's not even anything bad. We talk about it, but there's a there's a difference between you know 
how how we act as the t- as the big three and the little three because you know people tra- or mom has grown a lot my stepdad has grown a lot and you know they think that they they've used their judgment which i trust and i think is good and you know they've uh they've developed a different parenting scheme for the little three right but there's a difference between uh a firm parenting style and gentle and right now i'd say it's a little gentler which it's good and i appreciate that and my parents agree and my mom often comments on the the shift right she can see it too right it's a hard balance though to hold and i see your struggle with that which is good because that means she's a good parent if she's struggling on how to parent her child you know not again bro this is this this is why i said in the beginning it's hard because i'm not trying to talk shit about my mom she's a great parent but seeing her struggle and trying to make those decisions i see you you know and we talk about it so you know and she struggles with it uh you know every day because she's a good parent and I, i wanted to emphasize that love as hard as you can but it doesn't have to be all the time right it shouldn't be all the time it shouldn't be all love all right because life is not all love you know uh sometimes taco bell sometimes you know it's taco bell and it doesn't have to be much you know that's what i'm saying sometimes it's taco bell in the car because you don't have ac in the house and you gotta go sit in the car because it's so fucking hot and you know you don't have money for a whole ass meal so you get Taco Bell you know it could be a pillow fort to watch a movie in cause you don't have a couch and maybe it's just uh, being real about a chapter on on a Sunday at home you know maybe it's instead of going to church you chill at the chill at the house and uh, you do a Bible study yourself at home Because uh, <clears throat> cause it's good to learn not just to have shit fed to you by some dude, some random dude, right? I'm not saying that the pastor can be a random dude. Because most of the time, if you do go to a church on the regular, you become pretty good friends and trusting with the pastor. But I'm just saying it's good to instate that uh, mat, that that role model, that that leadership of the family, you know, at home by just reading the Bible, uh, you know maybe instead of go to church you have a chill day with the fam but you still you still have that little bible study you know help them develop their own way of thinking just don't mistake laziness and not wanting to deal with the attitude for love and good parenting don't think that being their friend and not saying no isn't just your own selfish desire to feel cool and wanted at the expense of your child because that's the only person that's hurting. It doesn't hurt you to say, yeah, bro, have some more fucking candy. Because you don't want to have to deal with saying no and having the kid cry that they can't have the candy. It hurts the kid because he's going to get whatever, rotted teeth, right? And at the end of the day, this is all based on my aunt antidotal experience so maybe i'm on some bullshit but at least i'm standing on some shit i just think family is mad important and i uh, wish i knew that sooner so that's why i made this and i hope this can help someone out there to do that and uh that's all i got all right I know it's probably, I don't know, it might be a little long, might be a little short, I don't really know, I kind of lost track of time, but, uh, you know, I wanted to get back in the in the process of making things, and I think I got a little better set up now, I'm not just using the the standing mic and all, all that and the whole time, so hopefully it turns out well. Uh, if you, I, I know it's probably kind of boring, right, it's probably not like the super, super funny stuff that I like to do, because I know I'm just super funny, bro, but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have some more interesting vids here soon but i do like just chilling back uh you know thinking out loud writing that because it does help me uh uh, this is helping me more than it helps you probably because it helps me think out my my thoughts and uh put them in a 
way that's intelligible, right? Uh, so yeah, that's like I'm really just doing this for myself, uh, which I think I spoke on in this in this little segment that I just did. So, hey, bro, I'm not just I'm not just speaking. I'm doing, baby. Let's go. Drum. I'm walking how I talk, brother. All right, and uh, I hope you do the same. I hope you learned something out of this. And uh, even if you didn't, I hope you enjoyed chilling with the boy. Uh, you know, if you did light one up, which I hope you didn't. Hey, bro, I hope you, I hope you had a good stogie sesh, uh, and enjoyed the sound of my sweet, soothing voice here on. 99.8 FM super smooth but hey keep uh, keep an eye out on the channel I'm gonna try and drop some more shit soon well, once again I'm not gonna commit to anything cause I do have a life but this is something that I would like to uh, focus on so I, I think I I should be should I owe it to myself to to uh, try hard at something that I'm going to do and not just half-ass it. But again, life does get in the way. So, uh, With that being said, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Bless y'all. Talk to you soon.